Hey, hey, what's up? My name is James Katz and I welcome you to our channel, CGFX Uganda. Yeah, now my friend actually contacted me and he was like, I should actually show them how to set Fibonacci to 100%. And this is what I'm going to do in this video using um, USDJPY and of course not forgetting top-down analysis because I want you guys to know the, 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 the base concept of analyzing charts once you understand top-down analysis trust me you'll be knowing how to analyze charts and of course you'll just add in a few things you know to polish your strategy because for me I use top-down analysis and on top of that I use trend lines and then support and resistances plus order blocks you understand so before we go into the video just allow me to remind you to subscribe to our channel of course you hit that notification button so that in the next video you upload yeah you will informed and of course don't hesitate to hit that you know like button once you find value in this video yeah if you hit that like button of course it is suggested to other friends like you who are seeking to understand more about forex let's go into the video now, like I already say that uh, with top-down analysis, you start with the highest time frame. Now, with this particular pair, USD, JPY, well, let's start with a uh, monthly time frame. Looking at the monthly time frame, in particular, um, in particular, on a monthly time frame, we have this, this particular support zone, considering this order block okay if we try to stretch it further if we try to stretch it further uh, we have this support zone and of course we also have this we also have this uh, demand zone right here okay so having that in mind our trend lines also are right drawn there very well okay we have this touch right here and then also drawing this we have that particular setup right there now each candle here represents one month and of course you can see uh, how it is performing we have bullish candles right there showing that the market is indeed shooting up so now having that in mind let's move to uh, a weekly time frame here we have a clear picture that the market is indeed respecting these trend lines you understand so we want to see another touch onto this trend line and then we move down or we penetrate through since we have this particular outlook of the market that indeed if it penetrates through this particular area here we shall have a clear upward trend otherwise if it bounces off then we shall see a ranging market within that particular area so let's now move to um, a weekly time frame and we see how the market is performing okay so now switching to switching to uh, a weekly time frame switching to a weekly time frame switching to a weekly time frame we can see the market is indeed uh, respecting and moving upward and of course looking at this these candles here we see that uh, they are clear that the market is moving up we have those bullish candles right there so our market is moving up now let's move to sorry about that let's move to daily time frame and see how the market is performing maybe to say uh, something more about that uh, you can see this particular you know chart pattern right there that was performed if you can clearly note that you can see that indeed the market moved up after the formation of this particular uh, chart pattern always look out for such uh, patterns because they can always give you good entries okay and then you make some good money so now let's switch to a daily time frame and we see but before we do that um, before we do that before we switch to um, a daily time frame 
we have this supply zone here we have this supply zone right here that was that was uh, respected it was really respected right here the market came clearly like this and then retested it and then it is moving up okay so knowing that we can of course continue to analyze on a daily time frame and see now that is our daily time frame okay that is our daily time frame we are moving up of course so that is a very clear you know picture that we are moving up because we have some clear you know bullish candles right there now having that we switch to for our time frame now for our time frame uh to zoom out to zoom in rather uh we have this this order block right there okay have that order block and uh, just to see that the market can either come back to this order block right there and then continues up we want to see that otherwise if it doesn't then we continue to analyze okay we continue to analyze by going straight to one hour and see basically how the market is going to play out its magic okay yeah now on one hour uh on one hour we have this particular uh order block let me delete this let me delete this and i put this we have this particular order block right there okay this particular order block actually it has been respected throughout throughout here here it has been respected and indeed the market is moving up however now here this is where the trick is actually if you want to place a trade on one hour time frame here this is what we are going to do we are going to bring our our fibonacci tool here because we are in an uptrend actually we are in an uptrend if you can uh, of course draw some more trend lines here like that okay we are in an uptrend a clear uptrend right there you understand and actually it's like an ascending triangle being formed right there an ascending triangle now with this particular you know with this particular formation of this uh, triangle we want to see something okay we want to see something in particular we want to see something we want to see something we want to see whether whether the market is going to continue up or to move down okay that's what we want to see but now moving to 15 minutes time frame we shall have we shall have our fibonacci tool we shall have our fibonacci tool right there and then we see this is our high high and then high low okay but this fibonacci tool actually has so many levels what we are going to do is to reduce and then set it to 100 percent what you do you click on it you go right here on its tool okay and then we shall set it setting it to 100 that means you're going to remove this this level this level you, you leave that this level this level this level this level you also you leave that also one percent you leave you leave you leave you leave leave this leave this leave that rather remove that remove all those remove all those levels okay then when it comes uh, to this particular area you set uh, levels you set to percent and then you can also you know change the color maybe if you want that is if you want then you press okay so we shall have our 100 percent 
right there our hundred percent our 50 and then the starting point okay so those are our levels that we have like i said we sell in premium and we buy in discount this is premium zone this is discount zone so what we want to see is the market going to bounce off from this particular area in premium and moves down so that we can so that we can sell as you can see the market is indeed trying to respect okay the market is indeed trying to to respect this particular area sorry let me use this line this is my order block this one i can take 50 percent of it right there in that area and then see that the market is indeed moving down right in this premium zone so it is going to reach there let's see if i'm going to to sell up to there and then from here i will also book for my long position putting my stop loss right there and then pushing it straight to this particular to this particular zone this zone right here okay that is if i'm going to hold that is if i'm going to hold okay but now here i'm going to expect this market to come back to this level okay to come back to this level and then continue upwards that's what i want to see so basically i've showed you how to set this fibonacci i will maybe do another video and i show you how to set fibonacci to 100 percent so that's how we do wait okay so i'm going to wait for that i'm going to wait for that and also make some profits there okay so it's just take a simple test here maybe it continues and then it comes back then we shall be in for a big move just like that okay otherwise guys thank you so much for you know watching if you have any question or any comment please submit it in the comment section below i'll be coming up with more videos on how to analyze the market and in-depth analysis of these charts thank you so much for watching we we'll meet again